Uh, just clicking with everybody on the team, uh, able to get these wins. Um, we're in a good rhythm right now. Uh, you know, uh, having PG back helped a lot. Uh, yeah, I think we're just in a good rhythm. And Kawhi, 30 free throw attempts for you guys in the first half. Uh, what did you guys see from New York that allowed you guys to be so aggressive? Against a, a very good defensive team. Uh, just being strong with the ball, um, attacking the paint, um, trusting um, others, our teammates, and um, yeah, just trying to get to the paint. And uh, if we if they collapse, just passing it out and trying to get open shot. Gotcha. And, and uh, when James first came over, you guys obviously started off on five, but now you guys have won seven straight. You guys have made some changes, rushed to the bench, second unit, but now you guys are starting to hit your stride. Do you like what you've seen from your guys, the consistency I asked you about the other night? Do you start to see that? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, just some some minor things we still need to get better at. Uh, they had 12 offensive rebounds tonight. Um, you know, I don't know how, I think they had about like 16 second chance points, I believe. And uh, yeah, that's the things we just got to be better at. Twice well, is a 169 points for you and 177 minutes. 65% shooting. It's the best kind of stretch of your career here? Um, I mean, if you want to put it in numbers wise, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm more focused on uh, something bigger than just a stretch. Well, uh, obviously, we saw a much more aggressive uh, look at the score, James. Um, what did you see out of James today as he kind of still tries to navigate when to pick his spots, I guess, uh, as, when, when he's out there with you guys? Um, I mean, I think he's doing a good job. Uh, you know, he's he's getting everybody involved. Uh, and then uh, when he sees uh, he needs to be aggressive, he is. Or the games, uh, you know, um, if, uh, you know, uh, less defender is guarding him, he's going to attack him. Um, you know, that's just how we play. Uh, just seeing uh, who night it is and um, um, who we could pick on um, on the other end when we're on offense. Pardon if someone's asked this already, but that um, 20 to 5 run in the second quarter was basically a big turnaround in the game. You guys were down, guys were getting ejected, technicals and everything. How did you feel like the team maintained poise and what was the key to and then the first half the way that y'all did? Our uh, defense. Um, you know, we I think we played good defense down that stretch, uh, able to um, get them to miss, and then we got out. Um, like we, like I said, attacked the paint. Um, we found our shooters, uh, and then the shooters knocked it down, and we just kept going from there, just consistently, uh, just getting stops. What do you, what do you feel like? You, know, you played your first game with James in New York in Madison Square Garden. You saw how that game went. What would you point out as the biggest point of progression for this team between then and now? Uh, just playing. Um, obviously, uh, you know the players have to get used to guys on the floor. Um, we still are as well. And, um, you know, the coaching staff as well have to figure out rotations, uh, you know, what plays to call. I mean, it's, it's just been a, a group effort overall. The trio of you, Terrence, and PG over the last two years, you guys are 21 and 6 when the three of you start. Um, beyond just Terrence defending at the point of attack sometime, like starting off against the toughest assignment, what has made you guys, that your guys starting so potent and winning 21 of 27? I'm not sure. I mean, you guys look at those numbers and, you know, you know figure out why we won or why we lost the game. So um, I think just all of us just having a defensive mindset from the front uh, of you just naming those three guys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, including myself, but uh, I think uh, we all just have a, a defensive neck just coming into the game. Thank you.